What tricks do hackers have up their sleeves that could get you off the grid? With the bombshell revelation that the National Security Agency was reading email, keeping track of metadata, not to mention phone records, staying anonymous seems like an uphill battle. So I decided to go on the offense, and I set out to find an expert who could teach me a few things for protecting my own privacy and erasing my tracks. The most difficult challenges that people face is when they don't want to go through the steps that it takes to go anonymous, they're not going to be. Everything is designed to say, who are you? Keeping that in mind with those devices asking for my personal information, I look for a different option. So unfortunately, you do have to swap that smartphone for a disposable burner phone just like this one. Don't forget to pay in cash. Also with this one, it doesn't have that location tracking that other phones have. But we know now that mathematically it takes two pieces of location data within 24 hours to uniquely identify between 70 and 80 percent of the population. Paying in cash using a prepaid cell and avoiding credit cards goes a long way. Encrypting your data, however, is one of the single most effective ways to amp up your online privacy. Get ready to give up some convenience and those free email accounts along with it. So one of the easiest ways to make yourself more anonymous online is to use a piece of software called Tor. The types of metadata that we're all worried about um, the NSA copying, uh, when and how you sent a message, uh, that's the type of metadata that Tor can help protect. It protects where the message came from and who it's going to. Well, you may have heard by now that your information may not be safe. What you may not have known is about Tor. Did you know that whistleblower Edward Snowden allegedly used Tor to communicate sensitive information to journalist Glenn Greenwald? The Tor browser looks the surveillance dragnet in the face and stops it in its tracks. Unfortunately for now, you have to be corresponding with someone else who's using Tor for it to be effective. Flying under the radar does require a little bit of alertness if you want to avoid the U.S. government tracking your life. The question is, are we willing to give up technology for the sake of privacy? In Washington, Margaret Howell, RT.